Hello everyone! There was a real sensation which happened tonight. You may not believe me, but after a whole month of silence, the second part of the 24th episode of Skibidi Multiverse from the creator named No Skill Clutch was released. And to be honest, I personally can't believe that this has finally happened, and I admit it with my open heart. Skibidi Multiverse is one of my most favorite series that I analyze on this channel because there is a unique story here where opponents change sides. It's so cool to see the Titan sitting in the toilets trying to resist G-Man, who this time has a human body. It is very sad that episodes are getting released so rarely though, so let's show maximum activity under this video in order to please no skill clutch, so this blood would release the next episode as soon as possible. Well, if you are ready to learn about the new secret plan that was shown in the Alliance Laboratory and see the epic battle between the Titans against two G-Men, then put all your business aside for the next 10 minutes and trust me. Today, I will analyze the second part of the 24th episode of Skibidi Multiverse for you, and then I will show you all the secrets and Easter eggs that will definitely blow your mind. Why does Titan Speakerman look so strange? And what universe did he actually come from? Is it true that G-Man framed his little brother? How did the secret agent impersonate himself again? And why is he following the POV? Get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video to the end, because you will definitely like it. Let's go! And the first thing I would like to tell you about is the reason for the release of the second part getting so much delayed. As No Skill Clutch himself reported in his Discord server, this happened due to the fact that there are big problems with electricity in his city now, and the situation has only worsened recently. The blood could not work more than two hours a day, but fortunately, he still managed to solve this problem and move to another place. And now, according to him, the episodes will be getting released without such long delays, and the best episodes in the history of Skibidi Multiverse await us. I think my brother needs your support now more than ever, so I'm sure that he will be very pleased if you will write something pleasant for him in the comments. So, it's time for you and me to check whether his words are really true or not, and the second part will be one of the best. Of course, the last analysis on Skibidi Multiverse was a long time ago, so let me refresh your memory. Believe me, it will take just a little or your time. The first part is a reference to the battle from the 47th episode of the original series, where, as you remember, an epic battle happened between Titan TV Man and G-Man, who the infected Titan Speaker Man arrived at the last moment to help to, which stuck his knives into Titan TV Man's back and turned the result of the whole war. In the first part, the guys switched places, and this time Titan TV Toilet fought with G-Man, and the story was supposed to repeat itself again. But here came the bad luck. In this series, Titan Speaker Toilet, which was also supposed to help Jimmy, was never infected thanks to the excellent work of Cameraman with a hammer in the 18th episode. And because of this, the canon of the battle was completely broken, and the two multiverses mixed one with another. And this is very important, because what once happened in the Skibidi Toilet series by Boom was also supposed to happen here. It seemed that the universe was about to explode, but fortunately, TCM 2099 also understood this and allowed G-Man to hit the toilet right in his face, and then TV Titan teleported, and the cannon was saved. The first part ended with Jimmy's younger brother coming to the rescue in order to end TCM, but a small surprise awaited the two losers, as the help has also arrived to this Bionicle. But in the first part, we never found out who this mysterious friend actually was. Now you're finally ready, and it's time to find out who will help TCM in the fight against the two G-Men. Well, the second part is already on your screens, and it all starts with two fools opening their mouths in surprise at the sight of someone who came to fight them. The POV turns around and you see Titan Speaker Man jumping out of the black smoke. Damn it, what is he even doing in this multiverse? I think the first question that you might have is, why does this Titan look so strange? I mean, why is his design so different from the original version? We've never seen such guns on this guy's hands before. Also pay attention to his armor. It looks like it's all made of metal, and his appearance is more like a comic book version of Titan Speaker Man. This guy is definitely not the Titan from the original Skibidi Toilet series. But who is he then? The answer to this question lies literally behind his back. Behind him, you can see metal wings, and they are an exact copy of the jetpack belonging to TCM 2099. And in general, these guys are looking very similar. This means that this Titan Speaker Man and TCM are brothers, and were previously in the same multiverse. And in fact, 
This is very logical because the name TCM 2099 stands for Titan Cameraman, which means that there must be a version of Titan Speakerman 2099 that you see right now in front of your eyes. Okay. The new guest then attacks the G-Men, but it doesn't do the clowns any serious damage, and they respond by unleashing their powerful lasers. Titan Speakerman gets tired of these games, and this time attacks the brothers with a sound wave. What follows is one of the most epic battles in the history of the Skibidi multiverse. It looks like the first Jimmy is about to be finished, but his original version gets in the way again and distracts the Titans. And for this insolence, the younger brother gets a big dose of lead and runs away from the battlefield like a real coward. By the way, pay your attention to how this little chick starts screaming, and this scene is a reference to the third part of the 67th episode of the original series by Boom, where G-Man also started screaming and then ran away. It looks like Lil G-Man betrayed his brother, and soon the two titans will destroy him, but suddenly, Jimmy gets into a state of real rage, so his eyes change color to red, and he starts beating up the titan's head to a pulp with literally lightning speed, and my jaw dropped when I saw this for the first time. The comic version of Titan Speakerman tries to intervene and help him, so he throws the madman aside and produces a lot of shots from his cannons. But they do not cause any serious damage to the freak, and they do not even leave any kind of scratches on G-Man's body. And in fact, it looks very goofy to me. I mean, why is G-Man safe and sound after getting such a huge number of attacks? The author of the series just seemed to be pretty lazy to add any details in here, as it seems to me. For example, you could have added a couple of scars or cuts on the armor. It looks like these shots just tickled the heels of G-Man, and how in general will the Alliance have to defeat this psycho if even the most powerful guns do not cause him any problems? Write your own opinion about all of this in the comments below, because it will be very interesting for me to read. G-Man then teleports to an unknown location, and the two brothers seem to be shocked that they couldn't beat him. TCM 2099 pretends that everything is just fine and gives the POV a thumbs up. No, bro. That was really bad, actually, so no need to pretend otherwise. You can see sparks all over his neck because he was seriously injured in that battle and needs to go to the lab to get a treatment right away. Okay, as it turns out, the POV has been actually watching the whole battle through a large TV toilet screen that was broadcasting those events from the secret lab. Then you turn around and get a better look at the guys that are being present in here with you. There are four camera toilets and a few cameramen, and among them there are two engineers. They wear black suits, and we have never seen these guys before. Also, in the corner of the lab there's a small machine, and I must add that this thing is being taken from the game called Half-Life 2, and using it you can actually teleport. I have an interesting theory. As you know, at the end of the 21st episode, TV Woman teleported the POV to the original universe of Skibidi Toilets. And then we watched the episode from the camera toilet's perspective. And we haven't received any news about it for a really long time. And if you compare the size of large TV toilet and the POV, you can understand that we are watching the events from the same camera toilet's perspective again. Also, if you pay your attention to the size of the main control panel, then you can conclude that it is definitely designed for cameramen and not for the camera toilet. Because these guys are much lower, and also they have no hands to press the buttons. I think that this is actually the same lab from episode 21, where the original Titan cameraman was being improved, and right now this bro could be just behind that door. Well, the POV turns to the bulletin board that has a map on it, where the cross marks the main goal of the Alliance, which is the Skibidi Upgrading Center. It also shows the coordinates of the lab we are in right now. And on the right side, there is a piece of paper with mathematical calculations. There is also a picture of a woman, but we don't know who she is yet, and I also don't really have any guesses about who she might be. But something in my guts tells me that her picture is being placed there for a reason. So I need your help again, guys, so that I'm going to ask you to write your theories about this lady in the comments, and I'll pin the most interesting one in the comments section under this video. Okay, now it's time to tell you what you actually didn't notice. If we go back to this moment, then for a second you may notice how the screen turned green, and you know that this color belongs to the secret agent, and I'm sure that right now he's watching the POV. In the first part of the 24th episode, the same thing happened, and I have a theory explaining why the secret agent is watching us. Please note that the green color appears only when the multiverse is mixing, so I think that the agent performs the role of a patrolman, and when two multiverses collide or someone moves between them, then Boom checks who it is and whose side he is fighting on. 
After all, if my theory is correct, and we are really now in the laboratory from the original Skibidi Toilet series, then right now the POV is watching the broadcast from another multiverse, and when the show ends and we return back, the secret agent will check who decided to visit his universe. Well, it's time to sum everything up. In fact, the second part upset me quite a lot. Just imagine, we waited for a whole month, and all we saw was some silly fight and a few bugs. In addition to it, the quality of the episode could have been much better, actually, because if you compare these frames, you will see a pretty huge difference. Undoubtedly, I was very surprised by the appearance of Titan Speaker Men. It was really cool, but I think the second part turned out not so good, because No Skill Clutch had big problems with electricity, and the Blood realized that he had delayed the release of the video very much, so he tried to post it as soon as possible, although not in its best quality. Anyway, I hope that the 25th episode will be very cool and I'm looking forward to its release. And that was all for today. Don't forget to give me your opinion on what's in store for the future episodes in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And that was me, Isa Toilet. See ya!